Hi there, welcome to your lesson on finding the equation of a circle. A couple of things we need to go over before we start is two words in a circle. First of all, the radius. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle here to the circumference of the circle here, which is the outside of the circle. That distance is called the radius. All points that are on the circumference any point that is on the outside of the circle is equidistant from the center, which means every single point here, the distance between that point and the center is all the same, and all of them are equal to the radius. That becomes important later on when we develop the formula for the equation of a circle. What you were asked to do is to do a little activity on Desmos. If you haven't done that activity, go ahead and press pause on the video and open up Desmos right here. You must open it on Chrome or Firefox. There's the website right there. You click Launch Calculator and you follow the instructions in this box. You're going to be graphing a bunch of circles. They're all going to look really pretty and you're going to answer some questions about it. So. If you haven't already, go ahead, take some time, and complete the Desmos activity. If you have done it, let's take it up. The first circle you were asked to draw was x squared plus y squared equals 4. When you graph that one in Desmos, you get this circle right here. And as you can see, what are the coordinates of the center of the red circle? They are at 0, 0. And the radius is the distance from the center to the circumference, and if you look at the scale, that radius is 2. Next, you were asked to graph the blue circle. That blue circle also has a center of 0, 0. Its equation is x squared plus y squared equals 16. And again, looking at the square, the radius from the center to the circumference is equal to 4 third circle was the green circle. Its equation was x squared plus y squared equals 25. When you graph that, you got a center of 0, 0 and a radius of 5. The last circle was the purple one. x squared plus y squared equals 64 and looking at the scale the center was at 0, 0, and the radius is 8. So we're hoping that you've noticed a pattern by now. The circle with this formula, x squared plus y squared equals 4, has a center at 0, 0, and a radius of 2. In fact, they all have centers at 0, 0, but let's take a look at the radius. This circle has a radius of 4. This circle has a radius of 5. This circle has a radius of 8. Then you were asked, without graphing, what do you think the radius of this circle would be? Well, that is the orange circle right here. So if you said the radius was 10, you've got it. Without graphing, what do you think the equation of a circle with center 0, 0 and a radius of 6 would be? Did you guess? Well, hopefully you get it by now that they all start with x squared plus y squared. And the radius is the square root of that number. So if the radius is equal to 6, then the number after the equal sign would have to be 36. And there's the black circle right there. x squared plus y squared equals 36 the radius is equal to 6. So what we're going to do is take a look as to why this happens. Well, since we said every point on the circumference is the same distance away from the center of the circle, if you take a point on the circumference and made a right-angled triangle, to get from the center to this point right here would be x units, because that's the x coordinate, and to get from the x-axis up to here would be y-units, because that's the y-coordinate. 
and from the Pythagorean theorem, when you take the sum of the squares of these two sides, it's equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but instead of using those letters with a circle, where you're using x squared plus y squared equals r squared. This only works if your center is at 0, 0, and the r is the radius. So again, the number after the equal sign is the radius squared. So you will get some questions, just like this one here, where they tell you what the radius is, which means you only have to square that number and put that right into the equation after the equal sign. You may get some other questions like this one. They haven't told you what the radius is, but they have given you a point on the circumference of the line. This means that all you have to do is substitute 5 in for the x and 2 in for the y, and taking x squared plus y squared would give you the value of r squared. So you would calculate 5 squared plus 2 squared, and that would be equal to r squared. So let's just go ahead and do that calculation. 5 squared is 25, 2 squared is 4, 25 plus 4 is 29, and that gives you the value of r squared. The r squared gets put right there into the equation. So your equation is x squared plus y squared equals 29. So what we're going to ask you to do now is to try five examples. I'm going to ask you to pause the tape, try these five examples based on what we've done up here and in this example. And then when you're finished those five, you can go ahead and press play on the recording and you can check your answers. So give it a whirl, see what you can do with the equation of these circles. Hi, welcome back to the video. Let's see how you did. Questions 2a and 2b, you were given the radius. You had to simply substitute the value of r into the equation. So x squared plus y squared equals 16 squared. Now here, the radius is equal to the square root of 20. So when you take the square root of 20 and square it, the square root and the square are opposites, so they cancel each other out. So that's x squared plus y squared equals 20. Question C and D were the ones like example one above, where you were given a point not the radius, so you substitute it in for the x and y so that you can solve for r squared. Again, they give you the point x and y so that you can solve for r squared. Remember that the equation is r squared. So if you were asked to figure out what r was equal to, the radius of that circle would be the square root of that number, which is 45 and you could use your calculator to figure out what the square root of 45 is. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you now can figure out what the equation of a circle with center 0, 0 is. Thank you. If any of these questions you did not understand, make a note of them and ask your teacher tomorrow.